I have sales today on eBay, Poshmark, and Depop. Stay tuned to see what sold. So we'll start on eBay. I sold an Abercrombie and Fitch short sleeved button front shirt. I paid $3.75 for this. It sold for $17.86 and the buyer did pay $7 shipping. So they were about $25 all in on this shirt. My profit was $11.59. Abercrombie and Fitch is making a comeback, especially when you can find the Y2K styles. Looking at these keywords, I included the keywords Abercrombie and Fitch, men's short sleeved button front shirt. It was a size medium, red, blue, and plaid. The next item to sell on eBay was a Harley Davidson jacket. That's a shirt jacket. It was the genuine motor clothes. And in typical Goodwill fashion, they write the price right on the back of the jacket. In this case, it was $15. I just left that there and noted it in the description. The jacket sold for $50 and the buyer paid $13 shipping. I picked it up, like I said, for $15, so my profit was $24.28. It took about four months to sell. This was a heavier jacket, plaid, quilted, and the embroidered detail on the back. As you can see here, it has the spell Harley Davidson. It has the snap pockets on the front and more embroidery on the chest pocket. Looking at these keywords, Harley Davidson mo motorcycles, XLT, quilted flannel, plaid shirt, jacket, motor clothes. So do keep your eye open for Harley Davidson. If you're enjoying this video, how about you stop right now and give this video a, a like. You can do that by hitting the thumbs up icon and uh, it's free to do and it really helps my channel. It helps push this video out to others that may not see it otherwise. I greatly appreciate it. The next item was a, a puzzle. Uh, I put this puzzle together one time and I sold it with an open box. My cost was zero as it did come from our collection. It sold for $16.20 and the buyer paid $11 priority shipping. So $27 in total. My profit on the used puzzle was $11.96. So I do take photos of the box as well as the puzzle when it's completed. Sometimes I will also take a video of the completed puzzle, but I do not believe I added the video in this case. No, I did not. So I sell new and used puzzles. Um, when I do complete them, I do go ahead and state that in the description, but I have sold puzzles before where I have not completed them and I have not counted the pieces. I do not accept returns on puzzles because I do not want them to complete the puzzle and then decide they, to return it. Next up, I sold a hard rock denim jacket. This is what that looks like. It was a pretty heavy jacket. I paid $4.05 for this. I accepted a best offer of $33.03 and the buyer paid 13 shipping. So $46 all in. My profit was $23.22. This had the embroidered back, Save the Planet, Hard Rock, Las Vegas. Uh, people refer to these as barn coats or trucker jackets. As you can see from the inner tag, it is authentic Hard Rock Cafe denim. All cotton. Looking at these keywords, Hard Rock Cafe, Denim Jacket, Large, Save the Planet, Jean, Trucker Coat, and Las Vegas, Nevada. I've sold Hard Rock before. It is a collectible item, so do keep your eye open for Hard Rock Cafe items. And the next item on eBay that sold was a baseball glove. I don't know a thing about baseball. I don't like to watch the sport. I, I really don't know any of the players or the teams. However, I can sell a, a baseball glove. This was a Prodigy series. 
the thing about it is they have the style number right on the inner tag here as well as on the glove itself. And again, in typical Goodwill fashion, they rate the price right on the item. In this case, it was $4. Here you can see it's AGC98 Prodigy Series. So you just pop that into your eBay search and see what the comparative sold items are. This glove sold for $40. The buyer paid seven shipping, so they were about $50 all in on this $4 baseball glove. My profit was $22.60. Taking a look at these keywords, Prodigy Series, RHT for right hand. Here's that style, AGC98. Right hand glove, catcher's mitt. Praying mantis and baseball. Again, I don't know a thing about baseball, but when I popped in this code, it did return with a catcher's mitt. And the next item on eBay is a Ralph Lauren button front shirt. I paid $3.75 for this at Goodwill. I accepted a best offer of $13 plus seven shipping, so $20 in total. My profit was $8.29. I had this going on one year, so when the offer came in, I did accept it. This was a sear sucker in that the uh, fabric looked a little crinkly. Uh, and it did say sear sucker on the inner tag here. So it was a size small men's shirt. The inner material tag was cut out, so I did note that in the description. Looking at these keywords, Ralph Lauren Polo, small button front shirt, sear sucker, short sleeve, blue label. Blue label is this inner tag here. And the last time on eBay I'd like to share with you is a vest. This was old frontier clothing. This is what that tag looks like. Now I've sold this brand in the past and it does do quite well. As you can see here, it is made in the USA. This was a red and black paisley pattern. I paid $3.75 for this at Goodwill. I accepted a best offer of $40. The buyer paid seven shipping. My profit was $30.36. This wasn't even a silk jacket, but it was all acetate. And I do believe it is vintage, made in the USA. Thus, it fetched a higher price at $40. Looking at these keywords, the old frontier clothing company vest, large button front, western cowboy style 210, which it also said that on the inner tag. So do, do keep your eye open for these older vintage vests. Next, we'll hop over to Poshmark. I sold a Vera Bradley bag. Now, I used to sell Vera Bradley all the time. But when I seen this purse in the store with the chickens and roosters on it, I knew that it could sell well. I paid $3 for this. It sold for $33 on Poshmark within two months of listing. My profit was $18.65. Take a look at this purse. It had roosters across the top and then eggs on the bottom. And the inside was red and black as well. So I knew some farmer or chicken farm lady would love this bag. <laughs> and I was right. Look at these keywords, Vera Bradley, retired, tote, shoulder bag, rooster egg, chicken, and quilted. The next item is a grunt style t-shirt for men. Now, you do not want to list your grunt style t-shirts on eBay as you will get a Vero possibly. So I no longer pick up this brand simply because I know I cannot list it on eBay. But those that I do have, I listed them on Poshmark and this one sold for $11. So I paid $3.75 for it. My profit when it was all said and done was a whopping $2.54. So again, adding to the reason why I no longer pick up these shirts. I thought it would sell well close to Thanksgiving. However, I was wrong. It had a big old turkey across the front. And it just took forever to sell. 
And the next item is a Zaya active top. Now I don't normally use stock photos in my listing, but in order to sell this sweatshirt, I think I had to, I mean, look at my photos. That's kind of a disaster, right? I could not for the life of me figure out how to hang this thing on the mannequin. <laughs> so I did include the stock photo. I paid $3.75 for it at Goodwill. It sold for $30, my profit, $20.25. So yeah, do not uh, include stock photos, especially on eBay or Macari. That could get you into trouble. But yeah, I had a hard time putting this one on the mannequin. Looking at these keywords, Zaya Active Top, XXL 2X Sweatshirt, Yoga Twist Front, Hooded Shawl, Wrap, Kimono, and Hood. So I included all of the keywords and size possibilities. And the next item on Poshmark is a Life is Good t-shirt. These cat items tend to sell well regardless of the brand. I paid $3.75 for this at Goodwill. I accepted an offer of $20. My profit was $8.67. But these kitty cats on the front were so adorable. It was a Crusher T size medium. And again, I have all that in the title as well as cat, kitty, cats, graphic, and women's. So did I tell you my profit was $8.67. And the last item on Poshmark is a plush stuffed animal from Hallmark. It was a Minnie Mouse, new with tag. I paid 25 cents for her at Goodwill. I thought she would sell for a little bit more money as she was new with tag, but she sold for $13. My profit was $6.62. So do keep your eye open for these Hallmark plush, especially when they are Disney characters. The keywords here, Hallmark, Disney, Minnie Mouse, stuffed plush toy animal. She was wearing a cozy sweater and it had a snowflake design. So I did include the keyword Christmas. In this case, I guess I could have also included Valentine's Day as there are hearts on the sweater. And then I am new to Depop, but I had a sale over there. This was an Express World Little Black Skirt, size extra small. This came from my own personal collection. It sold for $16.08, so my profit was $11.64. I'm just now um, starting to sell on Depop. I provide my own shipping. I sold quite a few items over there, so if you're on Depop as well, go ahead and check out my store and follow me, Piece of Scrap. This is my assistant, Mojo. He is our recent adoption from the Humane Society. He is a, a cuddle bug, and we love him to pieces. He does like to inspect the packages before I send them to the post office. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something new today, pound that like button. It's a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and it tells me that I am creating great content that you guys love. And I'm Zandra, Piece of Scrap on YouTube. Subscribe for more What Sold on eBay.